Pablo Escobar, sobornando a la policía, sobornando los controles de aduana, dándoles la fuerza del dinero. Y si se oponía, les decía, usted verá que escoge, el dinero que le estoy ofreciendo, o en ese camión que hay allá, ese viene lleno de hombres. En el camión vienen 15, más armados que usted, nada más pues que decida. Cuando recibe el dinero, nos da a pasar. Después de eso, pues, se da cuenta que con el tráfico de la cocaína eh, puede ser un negocio mucho más exitoso. This all-American group includes a teacher, a nurse, a recording engineer, and a photographer. Ten years ago, they might have stuck to smoking marijuana, but now they pass around the lines on the mirror. Save some for the rest of us. <laughs> His structure is based on two foundations. One is extreme violence, and the other is business and logistical organization. His capacity for violence, his ambition, and his smarts single him out. And no one actually ever challenges Escobar's leadership. Planes would leave the jungle drug laboratories laden with cocaine and begin to fly northwards and hopscotch across the Caribbean before it hit US shores. And that was all coming in to Miami. So Miami was a distribution point and Miami became the hotbed of corruption, of the cartels.